Please go away or I'm going to call the cops. Pretty lady, come on. Alright you guys, welcome back to Fears to Fathom. This is the second episode in the series. I already played the first one in my uh, Through Random Games video. So if you don't know what this is, um, it is, well it's right there. Fears to Fathom is an episodic psychological horror game where each episode unveils a short story narrated by, narrated by the ones who survived. So these are like uh, based on real stories from people that survived different encounters from whether it be like the first one was a, a home invader and this one is it says hitchhike so I, I guess let's just find out together fears of fathom episode two norwood hitchhike june 16 what year i guess it don't matter this happened to me when i was 19 i'm a little over 21 now just two years ago I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but getting it out of may help. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> getting it out may help, even if just a little bit. I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. I go every, I go to every convention I get the chance to, and sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives, but a plane ticket would have been too expensive. This convention was at... <laughs> this convention I was at went great, and it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. It was a little over 12 hour drive. Damn! 12 hour drive? I would never. I would never drive more than 30 minutes. Oh, I'm, I'm whipping it? Okay. Oh, I don't like this. Escape? Okay, you should text and drive first off, Aiden. You called? Yeah, I think I'm going to that convention. Could I get your car for like five days, please? <laughs> five days? With who, Aiden? That internet friend? He's a nice guy. No, you're not going on a 10 hour drive by yourself. Hey, yo. Chill out. Okay, Dad, well, I can't text and drive. I'm a very safe driver, Dad. You too. Not just me. Can I hit the e brake? What's happening? Near halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. Oh, gas station, gas station. Oh, this gas station feels crazy. Dad, I'm sorry. I really just wrecked the shit out of your car. Okay, I'm not liking this. Oh god, there's people inside. Walking around in there? Let me get inside and then I'll read my messages. Can I get a drink? I didn't want it. Okay, more of a sprite person. I feel that. Is there no music playing or nothing? Let me read my messages. Since dad's blowing me up over here. Damn! Oh, chill out, buddy. Yeah, keep strutting that way. Mom, Holly, Mom. Ten hour drive by yourself. Well, I've already made up my mind. I'll drive you. Why? Don't you understand anything? Let's talk when I get home. Drive safe, Holly. Don't forget to call me. You got it, Dad. Why did music change? Hey, man. Whoa, why did he creak <laughs> when he looked over at me? Dot, dot, dot. Uh, how's your night going? Where are you headed? How's your night going? He just looked at me. Whoa, dude. I almost had to sock him, bop him. With your f***ing ass. Keep that thing moving, bud. That guy's a freaking weirdo, dude. Not you, though. You're cool. Ma'am. Hi, can I get 10 on pump 2? Was that a no? You headed to the bridge by yourself? The bridge? The Norwood Valley Road, I mean? Not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Be careful. What do you mean? For about a about for about a century now, many people have been going missing down there, and people who went looking for them never returned. Locals say the Norway Norwood Valley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down on trees. 
Can I use the toilet? It's gonna be a long. It's not cleaned. Okay. I'm taking a dump. I don't care. Can I buy this? Uh. There will be consequences. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm leaving now. Hey. And one more thing. If you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just step on the gas as hard as you can. Who is she? Some people say that she died in a car accident there on prom night. Some say that she seeks vengeance after she was murdered there. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never ever under any circumstance pick up a hitchhiker. Those people out there on the road putting their thumbs out, they ain't what you think, ma'am. They just ain't. Well, thanks for the freaking heads up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell are you doing by my car, bro? What the hell are you doing by my car? Yo, hey, let me tell you something. Hey, let me tell you something. Hey. That's the van that passed me, wasn't it? Keep moving, bud. Planting no f***ing shit on mine. Is it a tracker or something? Oh, I got stuff in here. What is this? My skateboard? What the? Can I just... Can I just... <sighs> That's okay. Oh, come on. I had to buy something. I never even seen her say that. Oh. Is this the secret shopper? What is he doing in here? There's doggy food. That'll be five dollars, ma'am. Throw it in here. You do realize a thing. Being on a road, monsters truly do exist. And every single one of them looks just like you and me. You thought I was, I was ever gonna stop to look at that? Are you crazy? Are you insane? Are you actually insane? Yeah, turn them shits back on, dude. Going over this big hill. Look at this thing. Why would you ever take the back road? Your headlights are not doing a thing right now. There's a car in front of you. Stay close to them. Your headlights are not freaking out. Oh, he messed up. He messed something up. My car. It's gonna break down, isn't it? Dang, why is he speeding up? Hey, come back. I need your. I need your protection. Oh no. On the description of the game, it says it uses player player's voice activity. So I guess they can hear you in the game or something. Which I don't know if that'll even work put my setup because my mic is weird but I guess we'll find out eventually damn where am I going where am I heading to what is this disgusting road this looks just oh it's the bridge all right here's the bridge no hitchhikers you can try it but I promise it's not gonna end well my light's gonna go out. And then I'm gonna hit this hitchhiker, ain't I? Oh, maybe not. That's fine with me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. I almost flew off the road. This dirt road, this long ass road. Where am I going? Am I even going home anymore? Oh, gosh. Don't fly off the road. Okay, slow it down, Holly. Slow it down. This beater is not gonna survive. Slow down. Just, ew. Careful. There's cars and stuff out here. Dude, do you know where you're going, Holly? It's a weird thing about that night. I saw two big logs in the middle of the road. Those won't, wouldn't budge. Are you expecting me to get out right now? Are you expecting me to get out right now? You thought I was dumb? We're going back the other way. Let's be dumb. It all seemed as if somebody... I can't even see. I guess didn't think much of it at the time. Get back in your car. Drive. Your car is not 
Your car is not oh shutting down, Holly, is it? Your car is not shutting down, is it, Holly? Keep starting it. Don't look out the window. Holly, please. Please. Call your call your father up and ask if he knows anything about cars. Please. And just like that, I was stranded in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. Wow. Hey, isn't that something, Holly? Whoa, whoa, don't I'd be lying if I say I didn't feel the slightest unease. What am I supposed to do, Holly? I didn't make this sound like a story, but throughout my life, I was told not to take rides from strangers. I guess I'm getting out. 10.23 p.m. <laughs> what happened? Hi, hey, help me. Pure evil. I didn't understand how somebody could leave another human being stranded like that. Okay then. Well, Holly, do you have a flashlight or anything? 10.43 p.m.? Oh my gosh, bro. Might as well just get in the car and go to sleep. Oh. My, my bag of dog food. Let me get out of the road. Hey, help me. Can you help me? Can you help me? Oh, he's gonna help me. Sir. Sir. You're the girl from the gas station. Oh, gosh. It was that weirdo. Thank you so much for stopping. Didn't think anyone would stop for me here. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. Don't tell him that. Don't tell don't tell him. Don't tell him you can't call for help. Dot dot dot. Dot 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 again. You think I can get a ride? Where are you heading to? Just up the road. Near a stop where I can call for help. <sighs> Hop in. Thanks so much. Could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up, just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. Okay, good. I'll throw it in the back. I will throw it in the back. I gotta get my dog food. He's gonna jack my dog food, isn't he? Look at my freaking eyes on you, dude. Don't even try nothing. Don't take off my skateboard. You need to hurry up. I'm done. I'm done. Finally, now hop in. Be quick. Let's go. I don't want to look at you. Oh, gosh. My guys and my hands are sweating. Can I turn on the radio, sir? Whoa, don't even look at me with your cricket ass neck. Don't even cricket over. <laughs> so, you won't tell me who you are or where you're going. I'd rather not say if that's okay. I live really close from here. I was driving home, and that piece of crap broke down on me. Jason. What? My name's Jason. I'm Holly. Okay, nice to meet you, Jason. Uh, Jason, hey. You're really lucky I had to be on this side of town tonight. I must say, you're one brave young woman. How's that? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? I think it was battery. It's an old car. That's it? I think so. Dude, if you lunge at me, bro, I'm ripping your ear lobe off. Just so you know. So don't. So, what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? Uh. He really creeped me out. Interesting. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. So is it true? What? The monster? Let's see, I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are... There are some things. And I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey listen, I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them, and you don't be bothered. Hmm. That's... That's very powerful words there, Jason. You're not making me feel uncomfortable at all. 
You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. Okay. That's fine. Jason, on everything, on everything I love, bro, you better not even... Don't even come to the side of the vehicle. Stay on your side of the vehicle. Stay on your side of the vehicle. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a hotel. Motel, sorry. Apparently they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful, there are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. Well, he was right. Goodbye, Jason. I thought you were a weirdo. Oh god, he scared me. Is that the same guy? The man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. Gal, need a room to shack up for the night. How much is it for a room? Um, yes, I'm only going to be here for a few hours. F Sorry. Forty dollars for a single. Pay cash only. Whatever, bro. Room number nine, right over there. Talk about the car. Ninety dollars. Time will take care of it next thing in the morning. We love Tommy. Good, I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. I'm leaving, by the way. Oh, shit. Nine. Okay. Excuse me. Don't look, look at, don't even look over here with that hairline, bro. Thought I was about to freaking jump out and bite me. Room number nine. One. Okay. Four. Oh. I definitely heard breathing. Why would I ever do that? Why would I ever open up that door? Guys, I kind of want to open up this dude's door over here. You only live once, you know what I'm saying? Okay, never mind. Never mind, never mind. I'm sorry. I'm going to sleep. Oh. It's nice and warm inside. Lock the door. Shit. Turn the TV on. Couldn't have slept there. There's not even a damn mattress here. Oh my god! I thought I woke up everybody in the house. Guys, it's like... It's like 3 o'clock in the morning. What are you doing here? You scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Tommy, room service, here at the Roadway Inn, the finest stopover in Norwood. What are you doing in there? You know, cleaning stuff. Got the front desk gave me this room. <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. I'll just get my stuff. Had a word with Joe about this situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you worry, it's safe here. I go get your car. And also, the room's phone is not working. If need anything, just ask the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. <laughs> but you have a good night. Yeah, step on out of here, bud. I guess I'll go to sleep. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Hell no, Holly, get up out of the bed. Holly. Holly. Hello? Holly, get up. Are you not getting up? Holly, what's what's happening here? Holly. 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 You just watching Spider- uh, Freaking Superman? Dude, no. Holly, dude, come on, we need to talk. Come on, we need to talk. There was something very off about this place. Holy, please! Hide in the fucking closet. What? 
What? And everybody okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, big ass cup of coffee on the friggin' thing. Premium coffee, thank you. Cappuccino, French vanilla. Not available. I guess espresso, man. Why is it, is it free? I guess coffee machines are free, aren't they? Can zoom. Am I good now? Go back to sleep? Oh, I'm hearing breathing. What the f fuck? Gosh. Whoa. Everything's inverted. Whoa. Okay. I see my room is wide open, but my dad texted me. Oh, yeah, right. I cannot see that. I'm going backwards. Oh my gosh. Oh god. Just go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Damn, is that, what that, is that what that feels like? Damn. I was sedated. Why did Buddy's ass just really get up in the closet? Should I get up? Okay. Buddy's ass is really up in the closet. Oh my gosh, okay. Who is it? It's Joe from the front desk. Oh my god. Open the door. Okay, really is you, okay. Are you a weirdo, dude? Didn't I specifically tell you not to wake anyone up? Why are you Lewis Parker like that, Joe? I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that why your eyes are all red? Mention the coffee machine. Are you messing with me? We don't have a... We don't have no coffee machine here. What? Okay, okay, here, I've had enough of your crazy goons here. For once, I've thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm a crazy one here. Follow me. I hate my job. Lead him to the coffee machine? What if I open up this... Joe, 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 Joe. Watch out, that closet. Watch out, come here. Joe. The coffee, the coffee machine's over here. Please don't be a weirdo. I heard a door open. I heard a door open. Okay, Joe, there was literally a coffee machine here, bro. Where is it now? Literally, it was right here. It was right here, I swear. What happened? Show me your coffee machine now. It's not here. Go back to the room. I swear to God, it was right here. I said go back now. Why is this trunk open? First off, there should be some medication in your room that should offer you some relief. Check the table by the TV. Joe, can you come back with me for a minute, bro? There's somebody in the house, in my room with me. Joe, please, don't let him jump scare me. Okay. 
Okay. God, the closet door is open. I don't want that medication. Do I need to take that? Requires water. Is there anybody out here? No. That's good. Keep it that way. What? Did somebody take a f picture of me? I'm sorry, what? Hey, hey, hey. Who is it? Please open the door. I need help. What do you want? I need your help, please. Please open the door. Hell no. Do nothing. Opening your damn door for you. I'm going back in my closet. I know you're in there. I'm getting in the closet. I'm not in here. Please leave. Please. I just need to talk to you, I swear I'm not a cop. Please go away or I'm going to call the cops. Pretty lady, come on. Go get him, get him, get him, get him! Oh. I'm sorry, what? What just happened? To this day, I find it really weird that the manager inferred not... not to get the police involved as it would have affected the motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe that the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year. I never went on long road trips again. I would always take airplanes. Hell yeah. Okay. That game kind of gave me chills, like for real. When you kept saying hello. Alright guys, well, that was Fears to Fathom episode 2. We still got, apparently, three more episodes coming. If you have any other games that are like this, or just like, you know, indie, scary games, you know, let me know down in the comments. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe if you are new, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.